Good morning. It's great to be back with you after a couple of days of technical difficulties for morning prayer for this Thursday, December the 1st. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 1. The Object Jesus said, Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. From the twelfth chapter of the Gospel of John. Lord, without you our labor is wasted, but with you all who are weak can find strength. Pour your spirit on the society of St. Francis. Give your laborers a pure intention, patient faith, sufficient success on earth, and the joy of serving you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, and let us worship. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is the first part of Psalm 18. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my stronghold, my crag, and my haven, my God, my rock, in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress, and cried out to my God for help. I heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils, and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed, from, blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the sea were uncovered, and the foundations of the world laid bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath from your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no children, 
the man shall marry the widow and raise up the children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married and died childless. Then the second, and then the third married her, and so in the same way all seven died childless. Finally the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Those who belong to this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy of a place in that age and in that resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Indeed, they cannot die any more, because they are like angels and are children of God being children of the resurrection. And the fact that the dead are raised, Moses himself showed, in the story about the bush, where he speaks of the Lord as God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God not of the dead, but of the living. For to him all of them are alive. Then some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you have spoken well. For they no longer dared to ask him another question. Then he said to them, How can they say that the Messiah is David's son? For David himself says in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Thus David calls him Lord. So how can he be his son? In the hearing of all the people, he said to the disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and love to be greeted with respect at the marketplaces and to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for the sake of appearance say long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray first for the church throughout the world. We pray for the church in those places where there is trouble, where there is persecution, where there is indifference. We pray for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also pray for our church leaders. We pray for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our acting National Indigenous Bishop Sidney, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. We pray for those places where there is warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Taiwan, China, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those among us this day who will suffer from the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. Those who will be seen as undeserving, as unwanted, or not seen at all. 
Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness, and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who today will struggle because of poverty or homelessness. Those who will look to find their daily bread in this land of plenty. Those who will have to make difficult decisions about whether they pay for food or shelter, clothing or medicine. We also give thanks for those in our community who work with the marginalized and the vulnerable. We pray for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, Safe and Warm, BNRC, and the Bear Clan. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. We pray for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we give thanks to those who minister to the sick, for our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for social workers and mental health workers, researchers, and scientists. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who today are struggling, be it struggling because of the economic situation, be it because of the lingering pandemic, be it for any other reason where people are afraid or worried for the future. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying, and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the province of the Pacific, for the Solomon Islands of Guadalcanal and Savo. We pray for the companions of the Society of St. Francis and all inquirers and aspirants. And we pray for Rita, Eduardo, Joy, Diane, James, Darlene, Maria, Patricia, Isidro, Gracella, Antonio, Elsie, Carl, Charles, Desiree, Noel, Raphael, Anton, Gordon, Kay, Marcia, and Marla. And we pray for our companions, Collie, Albert, Andy, and Mary. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in this time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clare pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace.
Amen.